the iPhone reinvents the mobile phone. Before you use it, you have to select a service plan and register it with AT&T. That's called activation. With the iPhone, we've made activation really easy by using iTunes on your PC or Mac. One of the best things about the iPhone activation process is that you can do it at your own pace, on your own computer, and in the privacy and comfort of your own home or office without having to wait in a store. I'll demonstrate activation on a Mac, but it works exactly the same way on a PC. To get started, all you need is the latest version of iTunes, which is a free download from Apple.com. When you connect iPhone to your computer for the first time, iTunes launches automatically and steps you through the activation and setup process. This is the iTunes welcome screen. iTunes will guide you through some simple steps to get your iPhone up and running quickly. If you're already an AT&T customer, you can choose to either replace your current cell phone with your new iPhone or add a new line to your existing account. If you're new to AT&T Wireless, you can activate your iPhone and get a new phone number, or if you prefer, you can transfer your previous number from your old phone. You can also choose to set up multiple iPhones on an individual or a family talk plan. Transferring your phone number from your previous cell phone is really easy. Usually it can be done in less than 20 minutes, but it could take several hours depending on your carrier. To get started, just enter the phone number you want transferred, the account number, and zip code. If you don't want to transfer your number, just click Continue. Now it's time to select a monthly AT&T plan, and your options are simply presented here. All iPhone plans include unlimited data, visual voicemail, and 200 SMS text messages, so base your decision primarily on the number of minutes you need. If you want, you can upgrade to even more or even unlimited monthly SMS text messages. If you're an existing AT&T customer, you keep your current voice plan and just need to add the iPhone data plan. Next, enter your iTunes account information and password. This is also known as your Apple ID. If you don't have an iTunes account, then just press continue and we will walk you through a few simple steps to create an account. By using your Apple ID, we can automatically fill in almost all of the information needed to create your wireless account. To sign up for wireless service, you need to be over 18, so we need your birth year. On this screen, you either need to enter your social security number or the credit check code you may have received when you purchased your iPhone. Your social security number is used only by AT&T as a standard part of the credit check process and is not stored by Apple. If you accept the terms and conditions, check the box and click continue on both the iPhone and AT&T pages. Now, just review that your information has been entered correctly and submit. It will take a few minutes for AT&T to process the activation. So with that, activation is done. And now you're ready to start putting your music, movies, address book, calendar, and more onto the iPhone. Syncing and managing your content on iPhone couldn't be easier. In fact, if you have an iPod, you already know how to sync an iPhone. It works exactly the same way. iTunes easily syncs tremendous amounts of data, including all of your contacts, calendar, email, bookmarks, and your favorite music, TV shows, movies, and more. When you connect iPhone to your PC or Mac, it shows up in iTunes and is ready to sync. Here are the tabs to manage the content on your iPhone. Summary, Info, Music, Photos, Podcasts, and Video. The Summary tab displays basic information about your iPhone, such as name, software version, serial number, and phone number. You can also check for any software updates or perform a software restore if necessary. The Info tab is where you select which address books, calendars, email accounts, and web bookmarks you'd like to sync with your iPhone. Just select the items you wish to sync. For Address Book, you can choose the individual groups or just select All Contacts to have your entire contacts list with you at all times. iPhone can sync your calendar events from iCal or Microsoft Entourage on a Mac or Microsoft Outlook on a PC. Events you enter directly on iPhone can be synced back to your computer the next time you dock. You can have multiple email accounts on iPhone, and it supports industry-standard IMAP and POP3 email services. iTunes can transfer your email account settings to iPhone, so just click on the account you'd like to take with you. iPhone may also work with your current corporate email system, so check with your company's IT department. iTunes can also sync your bookmarks from Safari on the Mac, or Internet Explorer or Safari on the PC. 
the Music tab displays a list of all of your iTunes playlists. You can sync your entire music library by selecting All Songs and Playlists, or you can choose a specific playlist to sync to your iPhone. If you have a large music library, you may want to create a special playlist or two just for your iPhone. iPhone is a great way to show off your pictures. To select which photos to sync to your iPhone, use the Photos tab. Here you can choose individual albums, your entire photo library, or select just a particular folder of images to sync. In the Podcasts tab, you can choose which audio and video podcasts to sync to your iPhone. The Video tab lets you select the TV shows and movies you want to carry with you on your iPhone. Remember, video files, especially feature films, can take up significant space and syncing can take a bit of time. So, to get started quickly, just choose the most recent or unwatched TV show you like, or your favorite movie. When you're done making your selections, just click on Apply, and iTunes will do the rest. iTunes displays the status of your sync and alerts you when it's OK to disconnect. This bar at the bottom shows you how much room you have left on your iPhone and updates every time you sync. If you run out of room, iTunes will prompt you to remove some content. Remember, videos and TV shows take up a lot of room. If you happen to receive a call while syncing, iTunes will cancel the sync to allow you to answer the phone. Every time you connect your iPhone to the USB port on your Mac or PC, it charges the battery and keeps your information and media current. So now you're ready to enjoy using all the great applications and features in iPhone. You'll quickly discover how useful and fun it is to have all your contacts, calendar, email, bookmarks, and your favorite music, TV shows, movies, and more in your pocket. For more information, visit apple.com. Thank you.